Senegal will on Monday, December 27, welcome a new commuter railway line after having to wait for the past five years for work on the project to be completed. This transport system is aimed at reducing journey times and also decongesting the city once the TER Regional Express begins operation. From the 28th, the trains will run. They will not be open to the general public yet. This will happen gradually. We will welcome a certain number of passengers by invitation and it will be a significant number since the objective is to transport many tens of thousands of passengers each day. Traveling at up to 160 kilometers per hour, the trains will ply the 36 kilometer route between Dakar and the new city of Diamniado in about 20 minutes. The trains will carry 115,000 people per day, saving passengers hours otherwise spent in vehicular congestion. This is obviously a very complex project that was completed in a very short time. I know that in Dakar, there is often controversy about the TER being behind schedule, but this is not the case. We are almost breaking world records in terms of construction, in terms of completion of this project. Critics say the true cost of the project is about 1.7 billion US dollars. SETA will use 15 four-car dual-mode trains with diesel and electric power built by French company Alstom. I think it is a revolutionary project. It is a real asset. The train will really serve the Senegalese people. The train will improve traffic flow. Angry residents who are claiming compensation from government for taking their land may mar Monday's opening of the railway line.